Good morning, good morning. Welcome back to Coffee and the Word. Get a little coffee here. Oh, that smells good. All right, um, on the readings, uh, on, when, you, when you put it on your calendar, um, and someone told me the, the difference, uh, there's, a, there's two different sets of readings. There's semi-continuous, and then there's complementary. I'm going to go ahead and stick with the complementary passages. So this morning, we're going to start out with Psalm 109, and then we have a reading in Ezekiel, and then we're going to the Gospel of Luke. So let's get started. Let me get a little bit of coffee here first. Oh. All right, Psalm 109, verses 21 through 31. And as always, may God bless the reading of his word. So here we go. But you, O God, my Lord, Deal on my behalf for, my, for your namesake, because your steadfast love is good, deliver me. For I am poor and needy, and my heart is stricken within me. I am gone like a shadow at evening. I am shaken off like a locust. My knees are weak th through fasting. My body has become gaunt with no fat. I am an object of scorn to my accusers. When they see me, they wag their heads. Help me, O Lord my God. Save me according to your steadfast love. Let them know that this is your hand. You, O Lord, have done it. Let them curse, but you will bless. They arise and are put to shame, but your servant will be glad. May my accusers be clothed with dishonor. May they be wrapped in their own shame as in a cloak. With my mouth I will give great thanks to the Lord. I will praise him in the midst of the throng. For he stands at the right hand of the needy one to save him from those who condemn his soul to death. All right, get a little, a little coffee here. All right, the Old Testament lesson this morning. We're going to Ezekiel chapter 20, verses 33 through, 30, through 44. 33 through 44. So here we go. As I live, declares the Lord God, surely with a mighty hand and an outstretched arm and with wrath poured out, I will be king over you. I will bring you out from the peoples and gather you out of the countries where you are scattered. With a mighty hand and an outstretched arm and with wrath poured out. And I will bring you into the wilderness of the peoples and there I will enter into judgment with you face to face. As I entered into judgment with your fathers in the wilderness of the land of Egypt, so I will enter into, into judgment with you, declares the Lord God. I will make you pass under the rod, and I will bring you into the bond of the covenant. I will purge out the rebels from among you, and those who transgress against me. I will bring them out of the land where they sojourn, but they shall not enter the land of Israel. Then you will know that I am the Lord." As for you, O house of Israel, thus says the Lord God, Go serve, every one of, go serve every one of you his idols, now and hereafter, if you will not listen to me. But my holy name you shall no more profane with your gifts and your idols. For on my holy mountain, the mountain height of Israel, declares the Lord God, there all the house of Israel, all of them, will, shall serve me in the land. There I will accept them, and there I will require your contributions and the choicest of your gifts with all your sacred offerings. As a pleasing aroma, I will accept you. When I bring you out from the peoples and gather you out of the countries where you have been scattered, and I will manifest my holiness among you in the sight of the nations, and you shall know that I am the Lord when I bring you into the land of Israel, the country that I swore to give to your fathers. And there you shall remember your ways and all your deeds with which you have defiled yourselves. And you shall loathe yourselves for all the evils that you have committed. And you shall know that I am the Lord when I deal with you for my namesake, not according to your evil ways, nor according to your corrupt deeds. O house of Israel declares the Lord God. All right. Next, we're going to the Gospel of Luke, uh, chapter 6, verses 6 through 11. And here we go. 
On another Sabbath, he entered the synagogue and was teaching, and a man was there whose right hand was withered. And the scribes and the Pharisees watched him to see whether he would heal on the Sabbath, so that they might find a reason to accuse him. But he knew their thoughts, and he said to the man with the withered hand, Come and stand here. And he rose and stood there. And Jesus said to them, I ask you, is it lawful on the Sabbath to do good or to do harm, to save life or to destroy it? And after looking around at them, at them all, he said to him, Stretch out your hand. And he did so, and his hand was restored. But they were filled with fury and discussed with one another what they might do to Jesus. Mm. And this is the word of the Lord. All right, we'll go to the Pray Now app and I'll read the prayer of the day. Everything got rearranged. Here we go. All right. Let us pray. Almighty God, your son Jesus Christ chose Bartholomew to be an apostle to preach the blessed gospel. Grant that your church may love what he believed and preach what he taught. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Well, you heard the prayer had mentioned uh, St. Bar Bartholomew, and there's a short paragraph here I'd like to share with you. <clears throat> These are always uh, fun to learn. Uh, St. Bartholomew, or Nathaniel as he is called in John's Gospel, uh, was one of the first of Jesus' twelve disciples. His home was in the town of Cana in Galilee. Uh, where Jesus performed his first miracle. He was invited to become one of the twelve by Philip, who told him that they had found the Messiah in the person of Jesus of Nazareth. Bar Bartholomew's initial hesitation to believe because of Jesus' Na Jesus's Nazareth background was quickly replaced by a clear, unequivocal declaration of faith. You are the Son of God. You are the King of Israel. He was present with the other disciples when they were privileged to see and converse and eat with their risen Lord and Savior. According to some early church fathers, Bartholomew brought the gospel to Ar Armenia <laughs> where he was martyred by being filleted alive. Ooh, ouch. So anyway, learn something new every day. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and sign off. So y'all have an absolutely amazing day. So be safe, be happy, and be blessed. And we'll see you tomorrow on Coffee and the Word. God bless.